Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is orthogonal transformation. So let us see what is the definition of orthogonal transformation. A linear transformation y is equal to ax where what is y? y is a column vector, a is a square matrix and x is also a column vector containing the elements x1, x2, xn. It's said to be orthogonal if it transforms y1 square plus y2 square plus yn square into x1 square plus x2 square plus x1 square and the matrix of this transformation is called as orthogonal matrix we have seen what is orthogonal matrix <coughs> this orthogonal matrix means a into a transpose is equal to identity okay so this is nothing but the definition of orthogonal matrix okay so let us see uh, proceedings of this so we have y a and x and we have seen when we can say that the given linear transformation y is equal to ax is an orthogonal okay so x dash into x what is x x transpose we have x as a matrix column matrix so what is x dash row matrix Continuing element x1, x2, xn. And what is x? x we have a column matrix containing element x1, x2, xn. So what is it? x1 into x1, x1 square. Plus x2 into x2, x2 square. Plus and so on, xn square. Likewise, you can easily write y dash into y is equal to what is y dash into y? y1 square plus y2 square plus y3 square and so on y n square. Okay. So this is the next thing. So y x dash x is this and y dash y is this. If, if y is equal to ax is an orthogonal transformation is an orthogonal transformation transformation then then what is y dash into y then y dash into y is what is y this so what is y dash a x dash is equal into this is just the value of y dash is y equal to a x so what is y dash a x dash and what is y x now we'll apply reverse law to this so reverse law will give you x dash a a x okay now this x dash and y dash are same if x dash and y dash are same we can write actually uh, y dash and x dash are same so you can write like but y dash y is same as x dash x so cancelling from both the sides will be getting i is equal to a into a transpose or a transpose into a is equal to i okay so therefore what we can conclude if a is an orthogonal matrix if a is an orthogonal matrix then then a into a transpose equal to i that we already see okay and if we have the matrix a a transpose equal to i so what does it imply it implies a inverse is equal to a transpose just take it to the left okay now let me write down some of the remarks which will be very helpful in problem solving okay so let me write down few remarks so note number one so note number one says if determinant of a if determinant of a is equal to zero then the transformation then the transformation y is equal to ax 
then the transformation is called and the transformation is called what in terms of uh, matrix what we can say if determinant of a equal to 0 the matrix is non singular so likewise if the determinant of a equal to 0 then we say that the transformation is the transformation is singular or you can write it as singular or you can write it as not regular so as not regular likewise you can make the second statement same as this just instead of equal to 0 say not equal to 0 if determinant of a not equal to 0 then the transformation then the transformation transformation is called is called in terms of a matrix what we can say non singular and non singular or it is just a regular regular transformation okay so next is if you have the transformation third remark says if y is equal to ax if y is equal to ax is is a regular is a regular transformation what does it mean if y is equal to ax is a regular transformation means determinant is not equal to 0 right then then x is equal to a inverse y then x is equal to a inverse y is called is called as inverse transformation inverse transformation okay this is the fourth uh, third remark or third note next is if you have two linear transformations say y is equal to a x and z is equal to b y z is equal to b y if y is equal to a x and z equal to b y are the two transformation are two linear transformation linear transformation then then you can directly define the transformation from x to z okay then the transformation then the transformation from transformation from x to z can be defined can be directly can be directly given by directly given by what is it? Z is equal to Z is equal to B A X. Okay. So these are the few remarks that you need to remember regarding uh, regular and not regular and regular. Then uh, you need to remember what is the inverse transformation because in the exam uh, or in the problem that we are going to take needs these remarks. Okay. This remark may or may not be uh, useful for the uh, problem solving but uh, it is useful for uh, but the first three remarks are useful for the problem solving okay so let us take an example on it and the example on this uh, topic is very simple very easy and anyone can uh, do such problems okay so example will be like show that show that the transformation show that the transformation let me write down those transformation from the book transformation y1 is equal to 2x1 plus x2 plus x3 y2 is equal to x1 y2 is equal to x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 and 
and y3 is equal to x1 minus 2x3 x1 minus 2x3 so this transformation is given to us and the questions they show that the transformation is is regular transformation is regular and hence find the inverse transformation and hence and hence find the inverse inverse transformation now see here uh, we have to show that the given transformation is regular meaning thereby we just have to form a matrix with the help of this given transformation find out its determinant if the determinant is not equal to zero we said the given transformation is regular and uh, once the transformation is regular means its inverse exists so just find it out uh, inverse meaning thereby uh, here uh, the given transformation are y1 is expressed in terms of x1 x2 x3 when we get our answer we'll see the inverse transformation what is the inverse of this transformation x1 x2 x3 will be expressed in terms of y1 y2 y3 that is the beauty of this orthogonal transformation okay so let us write down the system first of all so what is y let y is equal to how many vectors are there just need to write y1 y2 y3 then what is matrix a matrix a is nothing but the coefficient matrix so this is 2 uh, 2 1 1 is it 2 1 1 then 1 1 2 1 1 2 and then uh, 1 0 minus 2 let me check once uh, 2 1 1 1 1 okay 1 1 0 okay let me check the question first okay so this is uh, 0 times 1 1 x1 uh, y2 is 1 1 0 and then we have 2 1 1 okay 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 fine fine this is correct correct okay so let me write down the matrix properly so this is like 2 1 1 and then 1 1 2 and then element of this 1 0 minus 2 so this is x, uh, this is a and what is x? x is x1, x2, x3. Now we have to find out whether the matrix is, uh, whether the transformation is uh, regular or not. So to check the transformation regular or not, we'll find out the determinant of a, okay? So before that, you just need to write down one sentence here, let, let, y is equal to ax be the linear linear transformation the linear transformation okay now what you need to do is you just need to find out the determinant therefore determinant of a is 2 1 1 then 1 1 0 and 1 2 minus 2 now what is it so this can be written as a 2 into minus 2 minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2 sorry minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 and then we have plus 1 into what is 1 into minus 1 so this is nothing but minus 4 plus 4 minus 1 so this comes out to be minus 1 which is not equal to 0 so our value comes out to be minus 1 not equal to 0 so what you can say you can write therefore the given the given transformation what was it the given transformation y is equal to ax is is regular and if it is regular 
hence find the inverse transformation so how when you uh, one can find out the inverse transformation if y is equal to ax if y is equal to ax is a transformation then uh, its inverse if its inverse exists then it is given by x is equal to a inverse of y okay so we have this transformation regular so we know that if this is transformation is regular then its inverse is given by x is equal to a inverse y so what we need to find out we just need to find out a inverse and how to find out a inverse a inverse is adjoint of a upon determinant of a so inverse uh, determinant just we have found out 1 upon minus 1 and what is its adjoint so i am borrowing the result of adjoint which is minus 2 to 1 you can make use of calculator to get it 4 minus 5 minus 3 minus 1 1 1 so this is the matrix we have a inverse now you can easily find out just multiply with this so in beginning 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 4 5 3 and then 1 minus 1 minus 1 so we have the inverse so just write down the inverse transformation the inverse transformation is given by inverse transformation is given by what was that inverse transformation that is x is equal to a inverse of y so x is equal to a inverse of y we have all these values in just one minute we will complete this okay so x is equal to a inverse y what is x x is x1 x2 x3 what is a inverse just we have found out what is it a inverse is 2 minus 4 1 then minus 2 5 minus 1 minus 1 3 minus 1 and what is x or oh, sorry what is y y is y1 y2 y3 so just solve this till get your answer so when you solve this what will be getting 2 y1 like this minus 2 y2 minus y3 and then minus 4 y1 plus 5 y2 plus 3 y3 and then y1 Minus y two minus y three. Now two matrices are same if the corresponding elements are same. So what is x one? This implies x one is equal to two y one minus two y two minus y three. X two is minus four y one plus five y two plus three y three. And the last one x three is y one minus y two. Minus y three. This is the required inverse transformation for the given transformation. So as you can find, this is the very easiest topic we have in our syllabus. So one can easily go through it. And if you have any doubt, please contact me. So that is what we have in this learning video. So thank you for watching this learning video. Thank you.